ဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီ
University of Pine International Student Neo, Drusiani Program, Yamaro offering Integrated Campus, the Kukite. Integrated Campus of Hailes, Ro, Duazaro, Amaru, a PPS of Net, then Tauku PC, Korea, I never know. Well, it could classroom a shime, lab Kanji, a shie, studio a Kanji, a shie, training center, ye, she, she, young, provide you tapi, a town to Tama, Iwalu, she, and the IS, a town with him, ah. ซาวนะออกกัมเปสซีเนี่ยตั้งแต่ตั้งตัวนี้ก็มาบ่เนาะตะชุจองตาจองตัวนี้อ่าทราเวลโลเคชั่นซอลูชั่นเนี่ยอ
ตัวนี้ดีอ่ะดีวันนี้ดีออนไลน์ดีเวบินาร์เลยตัวซาบิ๋วอ่ะกูนู้ซาบิ๋วลูกตามมาที่ไปอ่ะมาตัวเนี้
on the telecommunication side, how you use your data, how much data you use on what application that you're using. So all this will be put into the uh, provider so that they know this, to the, uh, this user, how much data and what type of data you're looking at. So all this, we call this data, we call this a big data and the huge amount of data are safe. And this will be used and to predict the user behavior, to predict your, your, your next step. So this is one of the core area as well. We call it big data. Yeah. Am I going too fast? If I'm going too fast, um, you can just uh, slow me down. Or you have any questions, then you can uh, uh, raise your hands or you can ask. Okay. okay the next thing is about is I uh, talk about is the uh, cloud computing. As I mentioned to you before, I think now all of you are using clouds. Whatever data information that you save, your your mobile phone, you have a limited capabilities to save all your videos all your phones, uh, all your photos. I think everyone like to take videos and photos nowadays. So this will be saved into the cloud where all the storage will go in and then you can access it anywhere in, in the world. Yeah. So all your applications, your Facebook informations, your mobile phone photos, so all will be saved into the cloud. So we call it cloud computing where everything we could put in the same place, they were going to have storage for you is a good uh, security secure website for you to save for example the microsoft one the microsoft um, online one then you can save your data there yeah, that is called cloud computing and then another one is advanced robotics i think most of you might have seen the uh, humanoid robots and then what with the small with the blue ball following the lady actually is a bag so you pack everything inside into the back, into the ball, it's a ball or a robot. It will follow you through whenever you go, you can put your, your water bottle inside, you can put your luggages inside, so it will only follow you. So as you walk along, they will follow you around where you go. On the left and the far right, if you can see, is the kitchen. You do not need to cook anymore. You just program it and the robot will cook for you. So this is for the youngsters, if you think, oh, Today I'm lazy to cook, then I'll program it, then my robot will cook for me. So what do you want to cook? What do you want to have today? Do I have to have a uh, spaghetti? Do we have to have a uh, fried rice? So all will be done by the robot. Okay, so below that is the robot, humanoid robots where you can see from the um, maybe shopping complexes. So they will greet you. Hello, good morning. Welcome to our complex. So these are all advanced robotics is happening now and is, changing the world and changing our job as well. So moving forward is the next one is additive manufacturing, is which is for quite very important nowadays. For example, all the AV, in the aviation industries, the spare parts of airplanes are printed on site. For example, if a plane from Singapore flying to Myanmar and they have some problem with the plane, so it's not possible for the company to send up spare parts all the way from Singapore to Myanmar, and whereas now they're going to print it and send the print the whole spare part in Myanmar and then fix it and then the plane can fly again. So this is what happening now in aviation industries. On the other hand, on the other right, on the other side, you have the building. We are no more using human beings to build, right? So now they, they can print a house in 48 hours. So a house will be ready in 48 hours, as you can see from the, uh, the picture inside. So this is a huge 3D printing machines. So they will print the house and will be ready in 24 hours. So next, next time, maybe 10 years or 20 years down the road, everybody will be printing their house, which is save money, save manpower, and it save time as well, right? Moving forward, you can see the human ribs. This is the replacement rib for a human and it's printed by the printer, just like the printer at your house, the ink paint printer, they print it with the materials inside and it's um, to replace your ribs if you have any accidents. So this is moving forward, is happening now in the medical industries. And very importantly, the one down there, you can see a piece of meat, which is printed. This is actually happening now in Germany, in developing countries, in China,
because we do not have enough time to keep up with the demand. For example, sometimes you have a swine flu, a lot of pigs will be killed. This is a way to go forward. So you will print your meat, what type of meat do you want? Then you put into the printer, then the printer will print exactly the meat that you want. So this is the kind of technology that we are, we are facing now and we are moving forward to that direction. Yeah. So farming will be quite difficult, challenging next time because it's bad to the environment and it's difficult, to a lot of our diseases. So this is a way to go forward for uh, in, in your generations, maybe the next generations, you can see a lot of um, printing meat in the market. Yeah. So last uh, but not least is the augmented reality. So this technology has helped us, has evolved the way we learn. As you can see, it's better for us to learn with all these reality things. For example, when you do your biology, right? It's quite difficult for us sometimes. Oh, how does the liver look like? Or how does the, the whole body system work? So with augmented reality, you can actually look into the whole system, how it works in our body and how we can learn better. On the other hand, you can see you're doing shoppings, right? You can use your laptop or you can use your iPad to go into the shops, just browse it, and then you can see what are the prices, what, which one is available, which one is not available. And then on the downside, they are doing businesses. For example, when you, this is an example where the developers, they want to see the new houses. So they just put in the screen, they, you can see, okay, how many stories in the houses are there? And then what are they inside in the house? What are the, um, the, the, the renovations or how the sofa look like? So everything is now in this augmented reality. And on top of that, the last but not least is the gaming for students or for everybody. So we can, we can see the things are really flying for the child to learn, to see the bed is flying above of her, right? So this is all the things happening now and you need to be prepared for yourself before it's too late, yeah? Because you, you, everyone, I think is maybe A level or maybe finish year 12, and this is your future. This is gonna happen, it's happening now, but it will be more prominent during your generation, maybe five years down the road, yeah? So you have to prepare what are the area and what are the things that you need to do so that you, are there before anyone else. Okay, out of this, as you can see, all of these are all connected to each other, all connected to the internet and all connected to one another. So then security is the issues of all these connectivities, all these networks. Are all the data shares, are they secure or are they, are your system secure? Is there somebody taking your information away, hacking, hack your system, hack into your PC, hack into your mobile phones, and store all your information? So how, how confident are you on those systems? Right, that is important. So what are the five threats of this fiber security? I'm gonna talk about the first one is fear, right? Why? Because we, we are afraid of our data, we want to protect ourselves. So the spending of these cybersecurity apps, you, you, I think everyone have your apps or cybersecurity or maybe um, antiviruses in your computer. Why? Because we fear. So that's why it drives you to spend a lot of money on this software to protect yourself. And the next one, why it drives the trend of cybersecurity is mobile devices. Okay, mobile devices is including your mobile phone, your laptop, your iPad, right? How many of you have more than two or three? I think most of us have minimum two to three devices of this mobile. So the more devices you have, the greater the chance for somebody to hack your system. That's why it's important that you have a secure system. And the next one is automation and integrations. With automations now, you can see everything is automated. If I ask you to go to a shopping mall without escalator, so we complain, oh, how am I gonna walk up the three stories without the lift, without the escalator, right? So nobody gonna walk, right? Okay, so this is the way 
the world is going to move forward. The automation will come to your life when you go into your car and then the car will straight away take you to your destination without a driver. And this is happening now in NTU. It's a national technology university in Singapore. We are now testing this system already without a driver. So everything will be automated. You just go into the car and then that car will take you to the whole campus, all right? And the next one, the ultimate betrayal is the employee or we, the user. We tend to be, I mean, human beings, you tend to be lazy. Every time when you log into something, for example, key in your username, then your password, then there is um, option for you to either to remember your password or not to remember your password, right? Most of us will be, okay, remember my password. So this is one of the threats, which is one of the things that you need to uh, take away or you do not need to do it. Please remember if you need to key in your password every time, please do so and don't save it into your devices. Yeah, because ten, we, we tend to do it because of laziness. <laughs> And it's not laziness, convenience, yeah? Yeah, convenience not to, uh, not to type every time, but please remember to not save your password on your devices, yeah? Every time you lock out and make sure you lock out of your devices or your email or your Facebook, yeah? Please do remember to lock up because everybody is trying to hack into your system, right? And then the last one will be the skill gaps. As you can see from the previous four things that I have, four points that have I pointed out. So everything is about skill. You need to have the skill to develop those software to protect the system. And then you need to have the skill to do the integrations to automations. And then you need to have all the skills to make sure that you yourself are safe, yeah? Right? Okay, before I move to the next um, session, any and before I continue, any questions? Oh, uh, now that session the cool one, no? But I can't. Oh, that's the middle name. Name is Yamya Shilam. Do you know? Okay. Right. I think thank you. They don't have the okay. questions yet. You can okay, move so on. Okay, so then I'll move on. Now I'm going to move on to to our programs, right? So today I'm going to talk mainly about two very important programs for Industry Four Point Zero. The first one being cybersecurity, the second one being robotics technologies, right? So I'm gonna start with cybersecurity, then I'm gonna do with the uh, robotics technologies, okay? So as you can see, this is the pathway that the programs that we have at MDIS. This, if you can start from year 10, then you can start with our foundation diploma, then into the higher diploma, editor hacking, and the cybersecurity, yeah? And then after you complete your degree, you can go to a master in cybersecurity or you can go to the master of science or data science. So all the programs in technologies are the most up to date and are up to date and are most sought after you graduate. So please prepare yourself as you can see from what are the technologies in the industry 4.0, then this is a way and please prepare yourself for that change, yeah? Okay, so first one, I'm gonna talk about our foundation program. So this is a six month program to prepare you to go for the higher diploma or a degree. So you're gonna learn about the academic writing and research skill, which is, which is efficient, uh, which is essential for you because you need to write a lot of reports. You need to do some research readings, how you're gonna do the report writing and read a lot of research and then put all information together to generate your report to submit for your assignments. Then the next one is communication and presentation skills. In the program, in the degree program, a lot of presentations you need to do and you need to do it by your own or by your group. So this is to prepare you for these communication skills. And then of course, mathematics, which is needed and the programming principles and development. And the last one is a capstone project where you'll be given the title to do a small project by your own and also as well as with a group of students. So they're all together 
five modules, then you complete the STEM program, foundation diploma program in six month time. Okay. So after you complete this diploma, foundation diploma, then you can go either to the higher diploma, higher diploma, or you can straight away go to the university degree. Okay. So next one will be about the higher diploma in ethical hacking and forensic in investigations countermeasures. So this program, it consists of eight modules. Okay. Out of these eight modules, four modules, you will have a, a professional certificate offered by EC Council and also the IIB Council. So the ethical hacking, computer hacking, computer security, and project manager, these are four industrial professional certificate inside the ethical higher diploma program. So when you graduate with our higher diploma, and then you need to take the exam with this body, then you will get the full certificate on top of the higher diploma, right? So these are the four professional, uh, professional certificate that you will have within the diploma, within our MDS higher diploma. So with this certificate, your employability will be have no issues or you have less issues on it because you are certified a professional after you graduate with this certificate. Please note that this certificate, you need to sit for the exam and pass it. This is not MDIS exam. This exam is by the EC Council and IIB. So at the end of the modules, you're gonna sit for this exam, yeah? Please bear in mind, yeah? You have to do, you have to sit this exam separately but inside the MDIS diploma, okay? Any questions about this? Oh, uh, me. Oh, uh, thank you, Doctor. Uh, me. Oh, uh, the channel the idea is that how you let me know the clear you can be bala ho. Yeah. โอเคโรเลดีรู้อย่างรู้บ่เนาะดาลี่อ่ะตอตอลี่ก้าวในหาลีรู้รออยู่ซะบ่ได้บ่จ้องเลยสรุปคลีเอ็ดเวดีรู
So okay, I'll continue, yeah? Sure. Yeah. So next one, after you complete your higher diploma, so you're going to go to proceed to the Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity, the degree level. So with the higher diploma, you can go to year two. But if you complete the uh, STEMA, you go to year one, the foundation diploma, you go to year one from year one. If you finish reverse the higher diploma, you go to the year two and then year three. So all of this, if you start from year one, you complete this degree in 24 months. If you start in year two, then you complete this in uh, 16 months. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the importance of all this year one, year two, year three, for example, they are all stacked for year one. You have all the fundamentals um, that you need to go to year two. For example, the Python programming, the secure data acquisitions. Once you, how you secure data, then you need to manage information security management. Then after that, you go to the year three in the information governance. So it's all stacked together to, to make sure that we train you from acquire a data, then how to secure and manage the data, and how you do the governance. So all this program, all the uh, modules, they are stacked together to make sure that you understand the whole things from the very basic year one fundamentals to the year three governance, how you're gonna use all this into your computing projects. The computing project is a very important piece of work that you need to take care because it will determine your classification because it's a 40 credits modules, yeah? 40 credits module, which is about one third of your study. One year you need to study 120 credits. So 30 cre 40 credits is a one third of your study. So the project is very important to determine your classifications. So in a classification, you have first class, second class, second class lower, second class upper, then the, the third class. So the computing project is very, very important for you to score, you must score good mark so that you can have a good standing, academic standing. And with a good academic standing, it's easy for you to go to further study as well as to secure the job. As you know now, a lot of graduates out there from NUS, NTU or the top university in the world, that's the reason why you need to have a very good degree, great degree. Yeah? first class or second class upper, that is important, yeah? So after you graduate, you can see this is the gap of cybersecurity that are needed now in the market. So as you can see in Asia Pacific alone, you have 2.14 millions of job waiting for you, or they need 2.14 millions of professionals to work in the industries, right? So this is one of the area which you can go into and you have a lot of job waiting for you. I believe in Myanmar, cybersecurity or networking is going very, very fast. In manufacturing as well, a lot of manufacturing companies, they need a lot of cybersecurity expert or professional to protect them from hacking or from the hackers. Not to say that about all this job, but you can see in Singapore, the salary of a cyber security professionals, they earn about more than 100,000 a year, right? It's about nine to 12 or nine to 20,000 a year as average. You can be a cyber security specialist, infrastructure specialist, and they are all in demand. This is in Singapore alone. I believe in all countries, they need cyber security experts. So these are some of the companies in Singapore, they are rapidly hiring all these cyber security and they need a lot of cyber security experts, right? So please prepare yourself. If you're interested in cyber security, this is one of the area. Industry 4.0 is important to secure your system and your network, yeah? Okay. And with the... Um, technologies. Now we talk about robotics, one of the area, another area which is now developing very, very fast as well. As you can see now, there are a lot of robots around, right? As you may see, I see more before the robot from Honda and the Star Wars robots is over 70, 1970 and the War E. So these are all small, small little robots for you. Maybe you have seen the movie before. 
Yeah. So these are this is happening now in our world. Yeah. So what is the advantage we have here with the robotics with technology with a Plymouth University? MDIS is the only one private institution that are offering the robotics program in Singapore. So we are very proud to present to you that this is the program of the future. So prepare yourself in this area which you can expand your career or maybe build your own system. Yeah? So we have all the laboratories well equipped for you to learn hands-on project-based approach for you to learn. And then you need to do and build your own small robots when you graduate in your projects. To go to this program, the same, you need to go to the foundation diploma. Then you go to the engineering program straight away. So there's no diploma in between. So you, from foundation diploma, you're gonna go into the program, straight into the program, okay? A three-year program for the bachelor engineering and a six-month program from the STEM. So I'm not gonna go to the STEM, I'll go to the straight to the robotics program. So three years, you're gonna study, right? Same thing, the first year you're going to study all your basic fundamentals. As you can see, from first year, you're going to study hands-on design and build your own robot with all the first year modules like analog electronics, embedded software in context. These are the fundamentals for you to start. And then you need to design a small robot in groups and you build it. Yeah? Then moving to year two, then you need to further enhance your fundamentals. Like you need to know to more about sensors and actuators and control, how you're gonna control the robots, robots arm. And then of course you need to have your mathematics and statistics to do all the calculations and modeling. And then moving to the year three, which is very, very interesting. And this is more of the um, artificial intelligence. You can see from the first modules, machine vision and behavioral computing. So machines is not like human being. We are human being when we see something or we know that there's a cup, it's round shape and it's a cup. But for machine, they see everything the same. Then you have to tell them and you have to program that how to differentiate between a cup and a ball, right? So that is what you need to apply your first year and second year fundamentals into the machine learning and the computer behavior. So this is what you need to do. And then after that, the second one is machine learning. I think this is one of the uh, hot area in artificial intelligence where you need to program, do a lot of programming. Yeah, you need to program the machines to learn by itself. For example, the first time he cannot catch the ball. When you throw the ball to him, some to throw the ball to the robot, he might not catch it. The second time when you throw it, then you will learn by yourself to catch the ball by itself. So this is called machine learning, either it's guided or non-guided machine learning. So for example, in the manufacturing industries, so when, they, when they detect something is not right, straight away, they're gonna take it away and it will tell to the system, oh, this is not the right thing, you need to remove it. So every time you will learn and upgrade themselves. Then you have also the mobile and humanoid robots, so which you can, you can have your own mobile, how to control, your humanoid robots and how do you do it? Like for example, your um, maybe your um, robot vacuum, yeah? So inside the robot vacuum, as an example, there is a machine learning and a machine vision as well. Yeah, so all this is incorporated into the mobile robots. And then finally is your individual projects where you need to really work by yourself to develop a prototype of this robot with what you have learned in the machine learnings, behavior, machine visions, all this you need to put together to do a project. So you can build your own project next time after you completed it, put it into your house so that every time when somebody go to your house, your robot will come and greet him or her or your friends or your family members. Yeah, bring him and then tour them around the house. Or this is my, uh, my house, this is my room. Yeah, so you can do that with this program. Okay, so this is one of the uh, examples in the systems. We are using the Omron TM5700 machines, a robot's uh, 
robot arms for you to learn and the smart system manufacturing system which is all up to date and is the industrial grade that you are using yeah we are dedicated to provide the best to the student to learn that's why we are proud to be the first in singapore to provide this program to everybody so as you can see, let's go to the next one. It's your job, yeah? You can see the robot sales is going every year, 14% annual increment. So you can see the robots is going, it's robots everywhere. So you need somebody to, to design, need somebody to maintain, right? So this is where you come in with the degree, right? Yeah, you can see across Asia is the lowest, but there are two things, two Two countries, Singapore and Korea, yeah, is far, far away with the rest of the Southeast Asia country in 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 the uh, robots intensity. Yeah, so in Myanmar, in all the coming all this industry manufacturing, so it's coming to your area now. Yeah, it's not, it's not previously now is happening now so you need to prepare for yourself you need to prepare yourself for this robot to be in your life yeah? so please remember that this is the area either you do it robotics either you do it in the cyber security these are two main areas which you need to really look into it and the jobs are ready for you okay so as you can see there's a, in the hospitality, they use robot to serve water and in the medical industries, they use robot to do the um, operations and in the manufacturing, they use robots. There's no more using people, the hum, they're less dependent on human beings. And in the car, this is an autonomy, which is the autonomous car that I mentioned to you earlier. So you just go into the car and nobody, you're gonna drive the car and you just go in to the car and then you will, drive you to your destinations. And last but not least is the, in the uh, security where you can, the officers, the bomb, the detach a bomb. So it's safer to have robots rather than human beings. So these are the few areas where you can look into a few jobs examples where you can work into so as a robotics engineers. So, okay, on top of all the programs, so we do have industrial visits where we bring you out to the industries to talk to our industry partners, to learn what they are doing, right? We go to various different types, all types of industries. So to have, to make sure that you are exposed to what happening on the ground rather than just studying, yeah? So beside all this, uh, we are bringing you out. We are also bringing in them to our campus to share with you what are the jobs opportunities that you have available for you so that you are ready before you graduate, we are, the jobs is ready for you, right? And so that will conclude my presentations. Do you have any questions about the programs, about what is it like in the industry 4.0? What are the things that you need to take note? Thank you, Dr. Tam. Yeah, I hope you know, see, I solution in my route, you know, by my people on me, leaving an empathetic career opportunity, a group, repel of Tabu, a digacha, the wind your door after body. All right, now by my, you need an empathy, you know, uh, Luri, Niama, Nibina, Satura, and Uri Pilar, to the rich job team, my solution, a Maruleshi, me, and a job opportunity, you know, hope any team born of young Lame, the industry of 4.0, a drug, Kuba Taku, or no clear. ကျွတ်တော်ပြောင်းလေးရှိတယ်ဘယ်လိုအပ်ပေါ်ချူနစ်တီရှိတယ်ဆိုတာကိုအကျဲတဝင်ပေါ့နော်ပြပြပြီး
the uh, at any then time in this year very uh, cool down period so we may uh, information but not slightly I'm not very uh, informative people but you got one only she could not see up your get through Asia Marama Korea a the evolution Singapore and master robot evolution to look you for the now by down in a mini being a drug coma a young boy the uh, are side to be over no a 20 in a new mass solution Singapore lady Korea to be a shiny I'm as well yeah I need a baby I can't be a bono I put out the long language to let go about no who's on what was it was I did about our same was I a solution or no I didn't say me to a baby but I'm less to me being area now by my Google keep you like it don't let she I'm entirely just go you more hoping it will not drop you more hoping it the meeting and about the time you report on a by my and I told I'm a bono hope that would be doing in a media she landing no I think they they don't want to ask questions so yeah thank you so much Dr. Tim no don't worry no worry more problem you're most welcome yeah, I would stop sharing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we will uh, 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 give this uh, PowerPoint presentation to uh, Pan Yi from MDIS. Mm, yeah. Sure. Oh, in Mali, MDIS, Pan Yi, how? PowerPoint, please, hello, yeah, baby. Hello, Dr. Mirua. Biora, see, Biora, I am here to meet you, Mr. Yala. I am here to meet you, Mr. Yala. Hello, Dr. Mirua. Once again, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Tam. And your PowerPoint information is very informative. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You can ask us anytime, anything, yeah? Sure. เออไปเหอะไปยานี่พี่ออกมาดีบ่เนาะเราคุณจะไม่รู้มีจําเฮาบู๊ซอเราดีอาชามีจนเนี่ยปัตตะเดคุณแลนลีเลยมาเป็น
ပြီးတော့မှာဒီဒီဘက်ချလာဒီဂရီပရိုဂရမ်ကိုပေါ့နော်နောက်ဒီ 比如说，嘛，的，的，比如说，嘛，的，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，嘛，的，比如说，
ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
ที่พักงานยิมาลีตั้งเสียงอาจารย์เราตัวมารุนัททาวน์ก่อนนะคลาสนัททาวน์นั่นเสียบ่เนาะไอ้ตรงอ่ะมารุนี่ว่ามารุ
Okay, ba. Thank you, ba. Ma bai. Ah, bai ya bo no information mia yu chain do do de ma mia do jo wa chu de de jo. Nen de li zhe ga bo mia na li ro shi de bo no ro. Ta ru de mi ru ni ne ti jen na shi de solution ko na lu chain yu mi lu ya ba de. Ti ta lu shen bo no di ma ru di study bro information center ye di Facebook page le bo no. Ala li u le ta ru de mi ru like lu thai solution bo ma ru di ni lu miu bo miu de. Ti ta lu shen ma ru di pi ge de ba solution le ma ru di le shi chao da bo no. Chao da li ya ni pi o ma di online le ni ku a ku bi ka la chen ni. เจ็ดเดือนเดียวจำได้จำมาเลยออนไลน์เลยนี่บอกเนาะสิ่งมาแต่ยังมีเจ้ามีเจ้านาฬิกาออนไลน์เลยนี่แต่ยังมีอะไ
ဟာရှိတယ်ဒီဆိုတာဟာရှိတယ်ဒီနာရှင်မေလိုရာအိုင်ဒီနက်ပတ်တတ်တာဖြစ်ပြီးအင်ဂျင်နီယာရင်းန
ยอมไม่สวยตะนี้ออกจะมาแล้วตะนี้นี่เนี่ยจ้องเช่าขายไปบาดิบ่เนาะตะนี้ตื้นลุยยาเลยอะลุบิโอมาสะอันผิดเก
information ni kau ada lila tayar ni sharing the wah. Dahulu amaru di bo overseas di education ni bo no di amaru kat tengah hal macam sharing the wah. Kalau kau ada ye dong pet hal bo no di tahun ni hari siapa ada ni. Kalau senior section sih ni siapa ni pun cah ni senior section sih ni. Eh cuma kau nak beli tak kahai siapa milu ya. Siapa milu siapa ni bo no senior milu ya. Di kalau umat tahu bo no kau di dalam di pertama tercecah tercecah ini memang ni, bodoh dia cecah ini, dia ni orang ni ni lu ya, baru dia lu sih, gua siapa tu dia lu di hati aku tak biar gua kucing lu jenis solusi siapa lu rasa solu ya, eh, bukan di internet atau macam, tapi mahu lu sih, gua tanya malu macam mana siapa tu, dia biar eh group sih group lain, bukan di hari ni sih, ni sih ni tu eh peni peni lo eh di siapa tu, di bawah zaman ni malu, bukan malu zaman ni malu tak biar kasih orang bukan tu jangan ni di classroom ni orang malu Kalau tak ada di luar, mana student area ini sih? Eh, student area mana? Ah, di so ah, mana di section apa ini ni leh sih? Dah mula sih di luar, mula hall ini ni leh sih. Eh, emas kau yang ni leh tak ada. Eh, malah siapa yang apa yang lebih lor? Kalau nak lihat sih dia ni, mana mana luar ni dah emas sih ni, so mana luar tu ya, mana? Eh, eh, buat duit ni tu boleh. Ah, kuasa guru aja ni tu mana perhati aku dulu barai. Ah, bila luar sih siapa ni dulu? Siapa ini lecturer guru ni dulu? Lai lom ni bila luar sih? Ah, kau ye idea kau ye Tui cuma bahasa ni baru Asian di ni pihak ni semua Asian di ni polin ya leh si Asian di mah ya ke knowledge leh si. Kau ini paham ya si ini go blue project go blue tinggal cene go di assessment blue tinggal cene. Di cara di bawah ni subject aku maha di assessment ni sura tunggu an di hulu dia leh si mah leh pe 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 subject mah mesti bawah ni. Elo gua mah thale bawah aku ni mah kena tu leh si lama lah si lama si leh lama tunggu ada kita mau tunggu ada kau gua project ni leh lihat di sulu si. Elo so cene ni ane ayah eh um lain ni mah Sebab saya melalui evaluasi itu nama lelaki apa yang usul ini, gua sejauh di bono, dan memang ni dah mesti juga dan memang ni juga, dan begini ni masih ada request untuk luar negeri, sejauh ni email ni dia betul ni, aku nombor ni dia betul bono, tak kau rasa ni bono, orang dah ada orang macam ni, jauh dia, apa, jauh dia rasa ni dia tu je ni, tu orang dah ada orang lalu bono. Ni kerja apa? No, mah tak ada assignment. Tua, tiga, tanggal ini apa yang tanggal? Tanggal ini ramya tanggal assignment, lu assessment, lu exam lu betul kali. Tua, ke, tua, tua ni daily, daily process itu ramya tahu. Kalau so process ini mah, siapa ni, lembih ni, lembih ni, apa no? Eh, itu cuma tahu. Tiga, lu, eh, bo, assignment ini ni ya cing, lu assessment ini si ya cing, lu bo. Presentation ni lewat aje, eh, pada exam ni, lu ni ya cik mas, mas ya lu satu ya cik mas, kau yang kau ke sih ya, tu ini. Eh, lo jauh lo ni cakap, jauh lo sari lu no prepare lu bah, no, eh, so no, ama cungji aga, eh, ama le di ku kita ni ku jang student life oh, dia lu sih di ku dia sekarang kau jadi tu ada tanggal ye, di bah no feedback dia ya wa asin di bah. Okay, ah, aku nak bawa no, ah, thank you, Wami. Aku nak di mimpi okay tu lupa. Tapi lu ni ni Asia ni pilih hari cuma, tapi lu ni ni saya ni orang ni jangan tu jangan nak lalu mewu, mahal buat. Tapi lu di bawah tanah betul biru, tapi lu tinggal eh, di bawah hula buat aku sih. Aku itu jangan di sela mau tu lah, biar mesu lama praktikal gua tiga uzah bibi tu ari. Ah, biar lu sih, tapi lu di IT surah le, biar mesu lu sih lama self motivation mah asing je. Mak jangan lu so, even buat aku graduate tu ari nak gua sedai le keep learning lama ni amal eh sih, sila le di bawah mah ha, di blue blue ribu no. IT ya, yang gua mian mian lama apa cerita itu cakap, tapi lu search dua ni apa cerita, tapi lu IT bachelor sah kerja, buat tapi lu di bawah no prepare learning bawah lu dia ah style walau apa, tapi lu self learning gua buat buat usaha bide ni. Kalau macam tapi lu ni ni bawah no ah self learning lu tarik cima, siapa ni create cima, aku nama ni ni punya cuci kelas tema ni ni. Kalau macam tapi lu macam macam individual bawah no, kau main ubi ubi lu ya, satu ubi ubi lu ya. Eh, aku nak ubi ubi tu lu bawah macam di Ah, taro tu milu di assignment ni ni dia je, exam ni ni dia je milu semua biasa. So siaga dia yau di, hula jangan nari kolong wangi brochure tu tu, kena ah beli beli biasa macam 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 biasa ni boleh, no? Aduh jang, jauh biasa biasa semua agam semua, aduh jang, oh si malay boleh, no? Jang tu jang nari oh ah tu dia macam lain ni biasa biasa betul ni ni, oh asam biasa tu dia barang ni malay, okay? Aku tu lo, oh oh tu lo cai biasa boleh, oh cai biasa macam awam ni ni clear, macam si dia bawa macam, okay? Ah tu tu milu je ni milu kau ni tak biasa ah si dia lah macam, no? Okay, adik aku tak balas. So, 
ตาลงมาพอดิกอบเนาะเออแล้วตัวอุตสาหะปีละขึ้นเดียวจังกูว่ามันติอยู่ตัวตะขาเลยอะไซเมนต์ลงเดะธรรมะมอลูชิงคน